change the game, say, sort, and sequence, you will need a customized deck of 24 cards, which includes four categories with six cards in each category. For a more detailed explanation, refer to the video clip, Creating a Deck. This game can be played with one or more players. To start, place the shuffle deck face down in a draw pile. A game mat is not required and students can be taught to play this game without a mat. I will be using a mat for this demonstration. Take a card from the draw pile and say the value of the card. Three. The card is placed face up in a pile. Continue this as the cards are sorted into piles by the type of card. One. Six. The reason I place six at the top is I want the kids to always put the numerals at the top. They're taught that. Six. Each one of these is a different category. Six is a dice pattern, so I'm going to put it there. Two goes with the frog patterns. Three. Two. So we're doing the part saying and sorting to start with. One. Now I have the rest of them already sorted, so let's just get them down. So now the cards, we've said them and we've sorted them. Now it's time to sequence them. So now we need to sequence the numeral cards from the smallest value to the greatest value across the top going from left to right in a line. So some students will lay them out like this and sequence them. Others might hold them and place them where they belong. So now we have the top row of the numerals sequenced across the top. Another student can take the next category say it and place it where it belongs. Six, five, four, one, two, three, and then the next student can do the next one, and then the next one. So they're going to continue on until all the cards are placed. When all the cards are placed, each student can read a row to make sure it's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you play Say, Sort, and Sequence.